The Port of Seattle, including Seattle Tacoma International Airport, is still working to resolve a suspected cyber attack that began Saturday morning. The attack shut down operations directly tied to the Port of Seattle's web based system, forcing several airlines to resort to writing everything by hand. This outage forced many travelers to either miss their flights or deal with major delays and raise concerns about vulnerabilities at major transportation hubs. Let's bring in Sam Sabin, a cybersecurity reporter at Axios. Sam, thanks for being with us. What do we know at this point in the investigation? What knocked out their web-based systems? Yeah, thanks for having me. That's a great question. At this point right now, we don't have a clear answer as to what knocked down the web-based systems. We know it was unauthorized access, which is a fancy way of saying there was a hacker of some sort, but we don't know if it was something like ransomware or just your typical malware or something like that that's plaguing the system. Uh, all we know so far is that it's going to take a few days for things to get back to normal, and it's shutting down things like you know getting your baggage uh, claim tickets and boarding passes if you're an international traveler and, and things like that. Wow. Are any other systems at the Port of Seattle being impacted? It doesn't seem so, so far. Uh, you know, time will tell if that is the case. Sometimes cyber attack hits. We're a little quiet about it as we figure out what's going on. Uh, but right now, it seems to just be the airport systems. Uh, the issue is just the airport is kind of managed by the Port of Seattle, which is why you're seeing headlines that say Port of Seattle says this or mm. attack on the port. It seems to just be the airport at this time. So I know it's too preliminary, but based on your reporting, when we see some cyber attacks like this, who are the bad actors that are typically behind this and what is the motivation? Yeah, it is a little too soon to say. So everyone listening, take this with a great assault, right? If I'm wrong in two hours, uh, do not call me about it. <laughs> but uh, it seems so far it could be, it seems like it has all the, the telltale signs of a ransomware attack or some si side of uh, phishing attacks that went wrong. Uh, it, these are incidents where it takes several days. You can't access your computer for days at a time. And those actors tend to be overseas. You're thinking Russian ransomware gangs or things like that. Uh, but I say this, and it really is too soon to tell. It's only been about 48 hours, and law enforcement is, is doing their job now to figure out what's going on. What should other airports be watching out for? What should they know to not be vulnerable to a similar attack? Yeah, there are maybe two or three things they can be watching out for, right? Uh, the first is true of all companies. Make sure that your employees have good password hygiene and make sure that you're using multi-factor authentication. So many of these attacks come down to very basic cyber hygiene issues, like yeah. you know using a password that you reuse on your personal device or things like that. Uh, the other is if you are... Uh, we still don't know where the attack is hit is hitting. It could be, um, you know, if it's just an isolated system that the airport uses on their own, then maybe other airports don't need to be worried. But if it is a ticketing system that they also use, I would contact your vendors, make sure things are going okay. Because uh, the issue with critical infrastructure, including airports, is that they all typically use the same few vendors that uh, meet their service needs and things like that. So it's possible it could ripple out, but as of now, it has not. And we would know by now if it would. Sam Sabin, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.